Hey everybody, welcome to Design Make Teach, a channel for makers and maker educators. I'm Josh Ujima, and today we're talking about 2018 gimbals. So this is my uh, original 2018 gimbal. It's actually a remix. It's based on a parametric gimbal by Bluebee. I've been doing these for quite a few years now, uh, taking these gimbals and doing all sorts of things, 2015, 16, 17, 18, uh, love, mom, uh, all sorts of things. So this is a great example of taking a um, model on Thingiverse and adapting it and remixing it to, uh, to create something novel and fun. Uh, I think one of these versions of my gimbal somewhere was featured on, on Thingiverse. And it's just that idea of taking uh, a functional thing and making it uh, uh, work in the particular situation that you're, you're looking for. So in, in this case, the original design was just this gimbal in the center. <sighs> And I've added some some text elements. So this is a print and place design. What does that mean? That means this whole thing prints flat. You carefully pop it off the bed, and you may have to break it loose just a little bit to get it to uh, to spin. But if your settings are are just right, then uh, you get that that nice gimbal action here. So this makes a nice uh, kind of decoration. Uh, some people have done a kind of a base on here. Some people like bases for uh, for it, but it makes an, a nice kind of tabletop decoration for uh, for New Year's parties and things like that. So I'm gonna send you to my blog, designmaketeach.com, where um, my YouTube subscribers are gonna have early access to this design before I go on ahead and, and publish it on like Thingiverse and Pen Shape and You Imagine and, and all of those different places. So I have uh, this design for you, and I also have a few uh, smaller gimbals, the mini gimbal set. So I'll have links to these in the show notes. Um, one thing about the, uh, okay, so this is just the, the regular gimbal, uh, and I'll give you access to the Tinkercad file so that you can actually customize kind of the, uh, the center part yourself. Um, and then there is a kind of an ornament style one. <sighs> And I have 2017 versions of these uh, kind of in the archives. They're, they're on Thingiverse. Uh, and so that makes a nice little uh, uh, decoration or ornament of uh, some sort. And then I have this straw topper one version. So this one would fit on a straw and you'd have it at a New Year's party and you'd blow. Uh, but these don't always end up perfect. So one of the things that's common to happen uh, is that it'll just fall apart and that means uh, you need to adjust or tweak a setting. If you can up your uh, extrusion factor a little bit, that helps. Uh, going into Tinkercad, you can of course adjust the model to, to fit your printer. What you'll find is with these kind of print and place designs, um, they really work well on the machine that the designer has because they've designed them with uh, tolerances for, for their machine in mind. Uh, so, Two out of three or three out of four of these worked super, super fine on my uh, desktop uh, printer there. Um, and this prints and works on, on other printers. This is the uh, uh, PrinterBot Pro 2016 and everything spins, but I haven't like really adjusted the settings on this printer to get it perfect just yet. And so it's it's just a little bit stiff. So this one is an example of, uh, I'm just over extruding just a tiny bit. Um, this one was an example of either under extruding or these little posts here. How the gimbal works is there's a little divot in the outer rings and there's these little posts here or cones, cones on the inner rings and those kind of fit in the little holes and they're just, just like a hair apart, like 0 0.4 millimeters or, or, or something like that. And then the cone fits in the hole uh, and the whole thing spins around if you got things perfect. So um, if you're lucky, you'll print this out and it will just go uh, spin right away. You might have to, to work it just a little bit, but um, it, depending on your machine, you might have to put in a little bit of time to play around with your extrusion multiplier or go in and uh, just kind of resize the rings just a little bit in Tinkercad so it fits the tolerances uh, of your printer. So uh, happy holidays. Happy early 2018. Wanted to get these out to you now so that you might have a chance to uh, print some of these out. As always, leave a comment and 
Have the best day ever.